Hey there, Ventex here, and welcome to At Dead of Night. So, I went in here, and it was kind of loud, so I turned down the volume, I put subtitles on, and then I played around a little bit just to see these uh, recording settings, and it seems everything's good. And so, we're going to start off by watching the prologue, so y'all can kind of get a feel for what this game is all about. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hello? Maya, it's Hannah. Hannah, where are you? You all went off and left me behind. Where are you now? What's this number? We're all booked into a hotel up the road. How far away are you? I don't know. I'll have to call when I get there. You can't. There's no signal. Well, it doesn't matter. Just go to bed, Hannah. Well, listen, make sure you're... Ah, Maya, I presume. Uh, oh, don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. Uh, let me just check. Ah, yes. Uh, room 101. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. Very nice. And there's uh, quite a few of you I see as well. Nice to see so many fresh, young faces. <laughs> For a change. Uh, you're here for the music festival in town, I presume? Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but... <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> uh, will you be staying for breakfast? I don't think so. We'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight? Uh, starts around midnight. Usually. It's, it's me doing it, actually. Comedy. I do this comedy character called uh, Hugo Punch. He's sort of this comedic sociopath. <laughs> Says things that you're not supposed to say and that sort of thing. It's quite popular with students. I don't think so. We're all just going to bed, I think. Are you sure I can't twist your arm on this? It's okay, I'd rather just go to bed. Sorry. Fine, fine, fine. fine. Which way are the rooms? Um, just take the lift, uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Best show in town and no takers. Who needs proper entertainment when you've got YouTube and my face or whatever? Stupid, uncultured. You don't like rude children. They're naughty. Don't start this again. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight! Naughty children are bad eggs. They need to be taught a lesson. Shut up! Just shut up! You always do this! They're paying customers! They haven't done anything to you! Just leave them alone! Bad eggs need cracking, whack them hard and crack the shell, kick them down the stairs to hell! You know what you need to do, Jimmy. 
Show them who's boss. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Seaview Hotel has a dark past. Its ghosts have a story to tell. Use the ghost and spirit receiver to talk to them. I'm just going to call it a spirit box, by the way. They'll tell you Jimmy's secrets. But Jimmy must hide the truth. at all costs. All right, so there is the prologue. Few questions, why don't you just leave? The weather doesn't look that bad, honestly. Leave and go get help if the phones don't work, right? I don't know. And second off, why did she go back and lock her room after she saw what was happening to her friend? Like, I would just be like, just leaving as soon as I could. Just down the stairs if I have to. But there we have it. So, start new game. The story of Jimmy Hall. Find out Jimmy's secrets by asking spirits about the things you find, then making connections to prompt them to appear. Jimmy will do his best to stop you finding out the truth. Begin new game. Okay, this device you found, select it to switch it on. Spirit box. It can detect spirits, voices, if you're near enough to them. If you haven't seen it, go to the menu and watch the tutorial video before you continue. I've already seen it, so it's not that intense. We'll figure it out. Alright, so here we are. It's kind of a point and click, but there are some other elements to it. What's up with everybody's fixation on mannequins? Alright, let's go down here. This looks like a cool room. Look at all the arcade machines. Heck yeah. Was that Monaco? We got Time Crisis 3, Defender, WrestleMania. That's what I'll be all over that WrestleMania. We got some billiards. That's a tiny pool table. Is that okay? No, I thought that was a dartboard, and that was a dartboard. One dartboard. Wish they had the uh, the Simpsons. That was always a great arcade game. Door is locked. Too dark ahead. Way too dark for me to go down there. That door is locked as well. Oh, look, it's all decorated for Christmas. Perfect timing. I'm guessing you're locked. Yep. Here's a kitchen, but there's nothing in here. Start conversations with spirits by asking introductory questions. If there's no reply, there are no spirits around. A loud noise means there's a spirit in the high energy state near. Is anyone there? 
It doesn't seem like a loud noise, so I don't think we're going to get anything in here. Alright. Let's back out. What is that? Oh, that's a weird drawing. Both of those are weird. I guess that's him. That's supposed to be Jimmy and then Hugo Punch. Okay. Looks like a celebration is about to happen, or it's already happened. All right, let's try the elevator then. Let's get back to our room. Maybe there's something there that we need. Maybe we left something up there. Which would beg the question, why come down here in the first place? I guess to check the phones, but why don't you take what's in your room and then come down here? Not thinking, I guess. You just saw your friend get four form. All right, 101 is this way. Uh, that's not 101. Try the door. Nope. You need to find a compass and a scrying mirror. Is this 101? 106. We must have passed it. Oh, no. I want to go right here. 101. I see it. Oh, no. Back. Go back. Can I go back? Right here. Hey, turn. There we go. Alright, so you can hide in the bathroom, and you can also hide, this is in the tutorial, in the wardrobes. And you can also check these drawers, so let's check the drawers. Oh, let's check the drawers. You found an old cloth covered in blood stains. That's pretty gross. Alright, what's on this side? You found a syringe and a bottle of diazepam medicine. Interesting. Ew. Bloodstained cloth. Why would I take that with me? Gross. Maybe I can inject him with the diazepam. Alright, let's uh, continue looking through some of the rooms. Maybe we'll find some items like that that we could use. 103. Oh, it's too dark. We already know she doesn't like the dark. Too dark in head. I can't go in there. Got my headset turned up in case Jimmy comes. We can make our escape. What about 102? Okay, there's a desk over here. What's in the desk? We got a key for room 102 in case we want to lock the door. And I got you. Yeah, I know. There's an item. And then what's in here? Nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. Waste of my time. Just a key. All right, moving right along. We gotta find this, the compass and the scrying mirror. That's our objectives for now. Okay, here's another little table. What's in here? Compass, great. Now I need that scrying mirror. This points you towards nearby spirits. There's a key. Still need the mirror. Yep, it'll point you towards spirits. Gotcha. I read that the first time. This room dark? No, this room's light. Uh, okay, what's in here? Found a deadlock key. Found a child's purse. Alright. Go back this way. 106. We gotta find that scrying mirror. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Hey! There it is! Reveals hints and clues when used in dark places. You can only use the scrying mirror when the icon is visible. Either by the door in rooms or in the ground kitchen floor. Use the mirror to see clues about where to go or which items to use next. It will also help you locate lost keys, compasses, and the ghost box. Here's a key. Ooh, the storeroom. Nope, I don't want to go in there. But here we are. This felt like hiding in the closet. There we go, we got our scrying mirror. Activate it.
Okay, it looks like we need to go to the lower ground floor. Let's not go to the bathroom. Lower ground. It said LG. Uh, let's go this way. Can I open this? No, I can't open that drawer. It's only the room drawers. What's over here? 112. Anything over here? There's a desk to my right. Ooh, a paddle. I remember when I was a kid in school. Ooh, whiskey. Heck yeah. When I was a kid in school, we got whipped with the paddle before. Nowadays, forget about it. There's no way that would happen. Ooh, turpentine and a lighter. I'm gonna light this person on fire. Let's do it. Alright, let's go out the door. Uh, we did 112. What's 113? Is it dark? It's dark. We can't go here. I know the scrying mirror says it's active, but all it's going to tell us is go to the lower ground. Not going to tell us anything different. I'd rather look around right now. Nothing here. One fifteen. Oh, it's locked. All right. Be careful. Make sure we keep an eye out. I think it's this way. All right, let's go. Call that lift. Lower ground. Sounds like a girl crying. Can't mess with the lockers. That's locked. That's locked. That's the door. Looks like the stairs going up. Guess we don't want to take the elevator. What games do we got here? Oh, I can't see that one. Go too fast. That's kind of making me dizzy. Is anyone there? No one's here? Sounds like someone's here. Is someone there? Maybe she's in here? Is someone there? Is someone there? Okay, maybe we forgot something? Go back to the first floor. Maybe we forgot something. Uh, first floor. Oh! Uh, back down. There's a girl in the basement. I noted it. Are you gonna talk to me this time? Let's try again. We know you're down here. Who's there? Hello? What's your name? I'm Amy Bell. Amy Bell. I'm ten. Ten years old. Ask spirits about the things you've seen. You'll see the reply when selecting the item. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? It was me. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Then he started stealing things from me. Okay, what about this? I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I didn't know what they were until Jimmy showed me. Alright, I know you're no... Ten-year-old girl, I know you know what the whiskey bottles are from. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Don't lie to me. I don't know. But children shouldn't drink alcohol. 
Ah, very smart. Very, very smart. What about the wooden paddle? Where did the wooden paddle come from? I don't know. Okay. What about the child purse? Who did the child's purse belong to? It was mine. It was for my birthday. But it was stolen. It was stolen? What about the diazepam? Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? Okay, what about the blood-stained cloth? Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It could have been mine. It could have been mine. Oh, what? It could have been mine. What is this? Do I put... Okay, so it looks like I can put stuff in here. Match two replies you think connect to the work out the spirit story. Pair sighting replies with item replies for faster progress. So I guess this would be like a sighting reply because we saw her. And these would be item replies. Uh, so let's see her and the turpentine and lighter. Uh, go. What do I do? What do I press? Go. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Okay, what about... You and the purse. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Yes, he took it when I wasn't looking and stole my money. I told him off, but he wouldn't Okay, so it looks like we have to go to the ground floor now, and we are going to do that next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out our Discord links down in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.